a pleasant day to you i hope all is well with you today i am here to show you this poncho that i crocheted i crocheted two squares so this is one of my square and there's another square let me turn my mannequin around so this is the other square and this is quite colorful because of the actual yarn that i use i'm going to show you the yarn so this is the actual yarn it's a burna super value big stripe and um this yarn is nature that's a color it's a nature color and uh also i didn't look to see what type of material um this was however um it is actually there it is a hundred percent acrylic and it's the five ounce also it is very i love this yarn it just flows so smoothly on between my fingers when i'm crocheting it's not a difficult yarn to work with and it is quite colorful as you can see let me just show you the colors again i used used up most of my blue but um it's quite colorful and um this particular yarn they come in different colors and um i chose this color also um the actual yarn i used two and a half balls of this particular yarn to complete this poncho so as you can see um it is quite a good amount of yarn and it's not very expensive i purchased it at dollarama it was only four dollars so i think it's a very good buy okay um so again you're just crocheting two squares make sure your squares are the same size and then you're gonna crochet the top of your square on one side okay so you're crocheting onto here and you're going to make sure when you crochet onto here um, the length and the width is the same size as your square at the front and back and um, that would go for this side as well so you want to make sure when you crochet it's the same on both sides okay so what i did was i started off with four chains and inside my chain i worked three double crochets three chains three double crochets three chains and i continued around like that okay until i had a certain size you can use um different i guess different size or crochet as much as you want depending on the size of the person you're making this for so the larger um, you're going to crochet this poncho, um, you want to make sure you continue crocheting enough of your square. You want to make a larger square just to make sure that it will fit a larger person. Okay, so this is actually a smaller size poncho and um, I made it for my mannequin. I use her as my model. So I. Um, this is the actual size of the square i can tell you how many um, rows that i did i'm going to count now for you so i did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i used 13 rows for this particular poncho um, again it is a small size so increasing your number of rows will give you a larger poncho and um, also you can use a solid color if you'd like to complete this project if not you can mix and match colors um, it's always interesting when you mix and match colors however um, i love colors so i try to mix colors and this worked out perfectly because i love colors so much i was able to find a yarn with multi colors i was able to crochet 
not having to change my yarn but one yarn gives me a variety of different colors so I was able to just use the one yarn and keep crocheting so the color um, I just love this color so I know many people will love it it is earthy as um, the label says I also used a 3.0 millimeter crochet needle to complete this project and um, the 3.0 millimeter crochet needle works just perfectly for this particular poncho also um, I used my favorite scissors to clip my yarn when I was finished and this is it um, this yarn the actual scissors I purchased at I think it was Walmart many years ago for my daughter and um, the needle which is let me just find my needle so this is the needle and this needle I purchased at Walmart I still have the needle after all these years it's um I think it's steel because it is quite sturdy and um, when you crochet with a like a more for me when I crochet with cotton yarn it's very hard on my fingers and um, I need to find myself a thimble that way I can put it on my thumb and actually I need to one on my thumb one on my forefinger so when I'm grasping my needle it really help with the friction and the tension on my fingers so that's what I'm gonna look for if not this weekend um, hopefully I'll be able to leave work early enough to go and find me a pair of thimbles okay so I hope you enjoyed this video please turn on your notifications so when I upload new videos you will be notified if you subscribe and you hit the notification if it's not turned on you're not gonna know that I uploaded any videos so basically that's what I noticed I don't know a lot of my subscribers it doesn't look like their notification is on or they just don't return to the channel to watch the videos so everyone I'm asking for your support to come and watch the videos and lend your support remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and many blessings to you so until next time I will have another project for you okay so remember to stay tuned always return to the channel tell a few people to drop by tell them to subscribe and remember turn your notifications on your youtube notification this way when i do a new video you will be notified okay take care bye for now hoping you enjoy this video take care bye